If you're considering deploying Microsoft 365 apps, also known as Office, to macOS devices via Intune, you need to keep watching. First, let's head over to the portal. If we choose apps and then macOS, choose add, and from here choose Microsoft 365 apps, macOS, it's very easy to get to this stage. We can choose select and tap in all the information we need above and beyond the pre-filled information we have here. Now we get to choose a category and then also whether it's featured in the company portal. We'll scroll down and that's it. The next step is assignments. If I choose next, we get to choose who this app goes to. That is not a lot of control when compared to the Windows version of this. Let's take a quick look at that. If we go to Windows, add Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10, choose next. We have this additional setting here. We can go to next and we get the configuration designer where we get to say which versions of the apps are installed and also which apps are installed. That's not the same for Mac. Let's take a look at why that's important. If we go to the Microsoft website, so learn.microsoft.com, I'll put this link into the description below. I'll highlight this purple section here, which says other versions of Office for Mac can be added to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. For more information, see this other website. So this page just tells you to do the thing I've just showed you to click next and, and install that application as a full package. If we choose this most current packages for Mac, you can see we've got some additional packages that are available. These are PKG files that you can download. So the first one is the Office Suite with Teams. The second one is without. And then we have individual install packages and update packages for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. OneNote though only comes with the, the, the update package, not the install package. So that's something to be aware of. The other thing I want to point out is that all of these since 2016 are 64-bit only, not 32-bit. And then one final most important thing to point out, only the most recent version of Office for Mac is supported. So you can't wait a few days or wait a few months to roll out the next version. You must have the latest version in order to be supported. And that support means that if you have a problem with Office for Mac, if you reach out to Microsoft, they will tell you to have the latest version before they'll even help you. So that's something to be very aware of. So let's take a look at how we can take one of these install packages and deploy it to a Mac OS device. If we jump back to here and go back out of this over into Mac OS, choose add. And then here, I'm gonna go with line of business app because that's the PKG file that we were just talking about. We choose select. And I'm gonna choose the app package file. And in my case, I'm going to deploy Word as a single application without the rest of the Office suite. So just taking a quick look at this, it says the, the name is this version of Word. The platform is macOS. It's quite big. It's 1.12 gig and it's not enabled for mobile application management, which is OK. Again, the name is pretty bad in this case, but we'll call it Microsoft Word. And in the description, we'll call it Microsoft Word as well. The publisher is probably Microsoft and we have a version of, let's go with Ventura 13 for this. We will ignore the app version because we hope it will update and we will install it as managed. So next you can see the app bundle version here is a single auto update version of Mac OS, Office. Uh, we can choose a category, let's call it productivity. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom and choose next. So here we can choose to deploy it to all macOS devices. And just on the right hand side there, you can see uninstall on device removal. So if this device is removed from the environment, this application will uninstall. That means also you can uninstall this application because we've set it to managed. Now that's very different from the app suite. If we just jump back to the website here for Microsoft Learn, we'll jump down all the way to the bottom of this page and you can see that when you're assigning it, you cannot uninstall the Microsoft 365 apps for macOS app suite via Intune. So if you use the simple way to deploy macOS Office, you aren't gonna be able to uninstall that in future. So that just be aware of that. So back to add app and yeah, we're just gonna install this on all devices. Let's take a look at what we've got. 
And in the required mode, we have all devices included. So we'll choose create. And that will go ahead and upload that application to Intune for us. Give that a few moments to work and it'll be ready to deploy. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you next time.